like I've already said a billion times before, I have so many things to say, it would take lifetimes to say it all. But I think I'm trying to pick out which things are meaningful for us to know. And like, I have to pinpoint why certain things would be certain ways. And that's why sometimes it goes off in like mythological seeming things and crazy, like really crazy imaginary things. But the reason those things are to, to explain is because I know the answers are the, the, the that's just the answer. So I want to start with about kids, AI, and why all the kids have it right now. The curriculum or what people learn from a soul's perspective is the present moment need. And right now in the present moment, technology is taking over. The only way for people to learn to get through the, to their path of enlightenment faster is either to use technology for their positive advantage or it's going to destroy them. So what they need to do first is the first lesson for our kids is now that they are addicted to their technology, they have to learn, just like in every aspect of life, what you have to learn is to want something, have it, lose it, and be okay without it. And then you can have it, whether or then you can be happy with or without it. And when you can do that, then you can have it. If that makes sense, that goes on for every thing in life. Like, say if you love baseball, you want to play baseball all the time, and all your friends are like, dude, all you want to do is play baseball. It's annoying. You know what I mean? And, and eventually you'll, uh, you know, at first you'll probably think your friends are turning on you and you won't want to hang out with them because they want to play baseball. I'm using that as an example, of course. And let's say you're dating someone and you're with them for a, for a long time and then you break up, you feel like you can't live without them because you're addicted to them, just like you're addicted to just about anything you would have to do. Anything. Smoking is an addiction. Driving is an addiction. There's no reason that you couldn't walk to somewhere or ride a bike to somewhere, but you drive there because it's faster and more convenient, so you're addicted to, to the convenience of driving. Think about it. Everybody's addicted to everything they do on a regular basis. Are you addicted to eating every day? Yes, you are. You don't have to. I'll prove it to you over and over and over again, and I don't want to prove anything because that doesn't do anything. That's my human talking because I go to those dimensions in ways that nobody else ever has. And I know that for sure, and I'm not trying to be conceited or whatever, or bold or anything. I'm just being as honest as I possibly can. So, the kids have to learn how to not have technology, even though they've had it now, and live without it. We need to go back a little bit and teach a little bit of history. The reason history is important is so that people see what people lived with at one point. And now we have these things as a convenience, and we should appreciate them. That's why we learn about history. Nothing else really matters. That's the main lesson to learn from it. I can say I don't mean nothing else really matters, because nothing really matters at all. But in a human personality, emotional standpoint, yes, a lot of things matter. So history there's got a, it has got a lot of awesome details, but there's a lot of false stuff in history, and there's a lot of people's opinions in history. It's the only thing. So... And, uh, and it's not important enough for me to make sure those things that people have told are truth or not. Because everything is true in its own reality sense. And you'd have to at least study somewhere on some form of consciousness to learn these simple basics. You know, that something is it's a reality in some form of some dimension. If you think it, it's there. Even if you don't think it, it's there. The opposite of what you're not thinking is there. You know, it's the craziest stuff. It's weird. But let's say, you know, everything has gone so fast. Okay, at one point, if you could only create from the things that you experienced and then mixed, okay, you're there, there's a particle of something, it's a, it's a form that we call matter. So now there's a form of something, and it's matter, and it's there. So if that was bigger, and it grows bigger, really, at, if we timed it, it would take a long time. But since there was no need for time, it just, shoop, blew up really fast. And all we're doing right now is explaining that jupe. We're in the middle of blowing up really fast. And it's time explaining itself to itself. It's all it is. And it, there's endless potentials because it's already passed. 
with the, the future is already past. That's why I can go to the future and come back. I'm, my future is wherever I want to go in my mind now. Because whatever I see around me is just whatever I subject myself to. And all the stuff that I do with other people is me allowing myself to subject myself to the world that they subject themselves to. And most people are way less conscious than I am, so they're subjecting themselves to a really weird world full of stuff they're out of control. And I would rather be in control of my life, not because I'm a control freak in that way, but when I mean control, I don't mean control of others, control of surroundings, control of whatever. I just mean easiest for me to be in control, know what I'm doing, be helpful and affect other people in good ways and other than that I, it's not really uh oh I'm driving I see bridge inspection ahead so I wonder if I have to stop sorry I'm I'm talking and I had that happen but I'm driving and I shouldn't be because I'm driving a business truck and there's DOT up here so I have to go human stuff doing all right love you guys